doing already? Hey, welcome to Wednesday in the Word. <laughs> you know, it's always good to start it all at the same time. I hope you had a great 4th of July. I hope you got to celebrate with family and uh, watch a lot of things explode in the air. It was, uh, we had a great time. We had a great time with our family and one of the things that we talk about in America that we celebrate is freedom. And the Bible is full of verses and thoughts about freedom. In Galatians chapter 5, it says in verse 1, So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up again in slavery to the law. So, um... We talk about slavery, we talk about being tied up, about being in bondage. And, and so we start off initially, before we walked with God, uh, Scripture talks how we were slaves to sin. We were a slave to sin, and you think, well, I've never been a, really a slave to anything. Um, in bondage, slavery, how do you define that? Well, um, Something that controls your life, that when it says do this, you you do it. Um, I know people who uh, who smoke, who um, do when they realize they're out of cigarettes, they they're in the car, they're doing whatever it takes to get that next one. Drugs, the same thing. Alcohol, all those things that you can't just say, Nah, I think I'll pass. No. No, it controls your life. It runs every aspect of your life. Your life centers around it. And it says that Jesus Christ has came to set us free. He came to set us free from all of those kind of things. That as we put our faith in him, he takes us from being a servant, a slave, to being a son. And so he sets us free, being set free from that slavery. So those things don't control your life, but you allow Christ to control your life. And so there is that whole aspect of uh, being set free from that. But you know what the tricky part of this being free is? Uh, staying free. In America, we are faced with those kind of things all the time. You know, our forefathers fought so that we could have freedom, and they said, now it's up to you to keep it. Because there's some battles that have to be fought to, to stay free. And in the early church, uh, suddenly there was a new form of bondage, and that was to rules and regulations. You know, Jesus has called us to a relationship, but there's a difference between a relationship and religion. Religion is about man-made rules to control you. And, and so they uh, they were having laws pushed on them. The new believers, the, the Gentile believers, were having laws uh, being uh, put on them. And you go down to verse 7, it says, You were running the race so well. Who has held you back from following the truth? It certainly isn't God. He is the one who called you to freedom. Freedom to have a right relationship, to run with God, to go with God, to live all those things. So, uh, to be able to stay free is, it's a never-ending battle. You say, you know what, it's, right thinking helps you stay free and you begin to understand. It's not about following these rules or this. It's about living in the Word and walking in a right relationship with God. So, hey... Thanks for being a part of uh, Wednesday in the Word. We'll see you on Sunday.